Las Vegas native Steve Oligas is a true journeyman of off-road racing. He's one of the original Rough Riders and started off-road racing just out of high school in 1981 during the golden era of off-road. I was 11 when I first went there and that's when I got hooked on it. I'm sure my family thought it was just a fad I was going through, but just bought every magazine there was and read about it. You know, I was too little to go to, you know, Baja or whatever. Family wasn't going, but I followed it. And then it wasn't until I was probably 16 or 17 and I started going on pre-runs and, and kind of learning. And then when I was 18, I got a chance to ride in uh, with the Collins Brothers. It was a California 400 and it was just absolutely awesome. There's a Bronco shop that I was going to called KBRS and they, uh, they had a race truck down there owned by Hal Seelan and I had the opportunity to drive Hal Seelan's Bronco and it was my first race in 1984, the Min 400 in a truck and that was just the real deal. At just 11 years old, he watched the famous endurance race from the sidelines and became fascinated with both the physical challenges of the sport and the camaraderie of the teams. For me, the, you know, the operator, everybody talks about the obvious, you know, but being a Ford guy, all the trucks, the BFGs, that's what all the big drivers were on. It was always the toughest tire. We all had them on our street trucks back in high school and college, and we'd all go off-roading and, you know, never had flat tires. And kind of the way of life and the people, the family and the camaraderie, but whether I'm here in Las Vegas or going down to, you know, the beach area, they just get it, you know, they're not like, some other sports fans that are so hooked on something, we're all helping everybody. And there's not one person in Trophy Truck that I feel wouldn't help me and vice versa. I mean, where else do you get something like that? It was the Mint 400 that inspired Steve to begin a lifelong journey as an off-road desert champion. Back in my first Mint, I remember being on the parking garage where they kept all the race cars. And I actually got to ride in the parade out in the morning with Gordon Grimmis, who wrote the book, The Racer you know, to watch Mickey Thompson come down and, and Parnelli Jones and Walker Evans and, and the Scoop Vessels and, and to be of Goodrich Blazers. I mean, it just never gets old. He has earned over 30 class wins and seven championships in the sport and has a special relationship with the Mint 400. It's that big of a deal. Logistics, you know, what we can do, testing the equipment, making sure we have the right powertrain, what we're gonna run on that race for that course. Mint, I don't care what he says, it's, it's the toughest race out there because that track just, it gets fierce. Like I said, over 50 guys that are all planning something and it's gonna come down in seconds again. Your pit stops better be better. Your, the plans that you have, you better have it all worked out. The fact that we have BF Goodrich on our truck, I know that it just gives me that much more of an advantage. I've watched other drivers that are on BFG now that weren't on them, and they made the switch, and, and I know why they made the switch, but you gotta have the right equipment for, uh, for a race like the Mint. People always ask me about, you know, my off-road race, and it's one of those things where it's like a, this addiction, and uh, you can't stop whether it's my Raptor I drive or my Broncos in the garage. It's just something that you, you can't stop when it's in your blood. You know, now with all the competition, you know, we're coming into these races and it's serious. Follow Steve and his team as they head to the Mint 400 to compete in the unlimited trick truck class for the overall win at the Great American Off-Road Race.